Hello, I'm Andy Savage. Welcome to One Man and His Meeple. In this video, I'll be doing a solo playthrough of 18 Lilliput by Leonard Orgler, published by Fox in the Box Games. This game is intended as an introduction to the 18xx genre of games, where you invest in companies, build railways and run trains to make money for the shareholders. This is not intended as an instructional video, and I won't be going through all the rules, but I will be trying to explain what I'm doing and why, talking you through my thought processes for the various actions or moves that I take. If you're watching because you're interested in buying the game or trying the solo mode, this will help you decide whether it's what you're looking for. If you want some strategy tips, maybe you'll pick up something you hadn't thought of. It would be great if you could pass on some tips in the comments. Also, if you see a mistake, then please let me know. So as you can see, um, we have the central town of Midendo set up. Um, this is Gulliver's side of the table. Gulliver is the AI or bot that runs a scripted process to play against me, the player. Um, we both have our companies. Uh, Gulliver has the Slamexan Railway with 500 pounds. He has 50% president's share and a two train. He has a, uh, because he has a Slamexan Railway, he starts with a Y tile, which is worth 30. I have the Glimmergrim Valley Railway, which means I start with $60, uh, 60 pounds in my personal treasury instead of 30. And the company also has 500 pounds in its treasury and a two train. And I have the president's share. I also have these two special tiles that I can play, um, instead of playing tiles. So I get to take two actions from these four actions over here, which uh, I shall go through as we play the game. Gulliver has a, um, a script, if you like, that's detailed in the manual. And a lot of his stuff is decided at random, which I shall decide with the throw of a dice, stating odds or evens or less than, greater than, depending on what I need to decide. So um, I get to start, and I think as I have a two train and I've got a two train route, um, I because I have $60 in my treasury, oh, actually, my um, character's power is I can take £5 for myself or £20 into the company. And that happens at the start of the round, so I'm going to take £5 for myself. Because I started with £60, I have enough to buy a share, which I think is what I'm going to do first. And I would like to buy a share. I think I'll buy a share in Gulliver's Railway, $50, £50. Probably going to use those terms interchangeably throughout the video. So that means that when he runs his routes, I will get 10% of his profits. Um, for my second action, I'm just going to check I have the right tile out there. Yes, I do. I was wondering about that tile there. Um, my second action, I think I'm going to build some rail. No, I'm not actually, because I get to do it. I get to lay these for free. I think I'm going to just kick off by buying an extra train for the company. So that's $80. I should add that these uh, chips are my own. They don't come with the game. The game comes with paper money. But as with most 18xx games, it's much quicker if you play with chips or on a spreadsheet. Um, okay, so that's my two actions. And after I take my actions, we need the round marker. Round marker's there. Uh, Gulliver performs the following actions. First, he does track building, and he has a, a script for track building. He, if He will upgrade if he can. Or if not, he will build a yellow city tile, which he can't do right now because 
In this game, you have to alternate between city tiles, which are these ones with the big white circles, and plain. So he's going to lay plain. It will be a curve on odds or a straight on evens. Um, it's a straight. So I don't need to roll again to see which way it's going to point. Uh, he will then lay a station tile if he can, but he won't because he has no empty stations. Uh, he will build additional track if he can, but he won't now. I'll go through that in a minute. Share buying. He never sells shares. If he can afford it, he buys one, but he can't because he only has £30. Instead of putting the next variable train on the train pool during proxy, it is added to one of his companies. So we take the next available train, which is a two train, and we put it there. Now that's the end of Gulliver's turn. Now we run trains. Um, Gulliver's companies always pay out dividends and um, as normal. So I've put my counter on top, so I'm going to run fast, which I think is what we're supposed to do. I'm going to run for £50. My two train runs between the two stations. Nope, actually, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to face it that way. So I'm going to run for 50 and an additional 10, even though this, because this doesn't count as a stop. So I get, uh, the company makes 60 pounds, it's going to pay out. So I will get six times five, which is 30. And Gulliver gets nothing for that. And then his train runs for 60 and he gets 30. Whoops. And I get six because I have one share. Now in this game, like all 18xx, you keep your company money separate from your personal funds. So I'm going to have to try and be careful to keep that separate. And also keep this so you can see how much I've, we're making throughout the game. So that's the uh, uh, bureaucracy round. The turn counter is moved forward. We're playing up to turn eight. Because we both paid out, both our share prices go up to 55. And then it's back to the start again for the start of round two. So again, I have two actions now. I think I would like to build a rail and buy a train. So let's lay some track first of all. The dice have no the the pips on the dice have no meaning. It's purely as a marker. So let's put a straight across there, and then I can lay my other free tile so that's my first action my second action I'd like to uh, buy a train I did buy a train but I didn't take it couldn't have run last time anyway so I don't need to buy a train I could lay more track Two train running there, two train running there. Not very useful to buy another train, although it would mean that upgrades are available. I think cheating already. I'm just going to take back those actions. I think first of all, I'm going to buy another train. For 150. 
Now that comes out of the company as usual rather than myself. In this game, companies don't have to have trains, so there is no bankruptcy. Now because upgrades are available, I'm going to take this action which allows me to lay a yellow tile and then upgrade. So I'm going to lay that yellow tile, and then I'm going to lay that tile for free, it's my um, bonus, and then I'm going to upgrade this town, honouring the existing routes, put my station back. And of course, I should have taken an extra five at the start of my go. Then Gulliver. So first of all, he builds a track. So on an odd, he's going to build. Uh, now, first of all, he will upgrade a green city to a brown, which he can't. Then he can upgrade a yellow to a green. So he's going to upgrade his starting Y tile to this green. Now, odds, we will put it like that. And evens, we will put it like that. So odds, evens, we're going to put it like that. And then... He would place a st uh, station if he can, but he can't double station. He has an open track, so he's going to lay some more. He will uh, odds. He will lay a curve. Evens. He will lay a straight. It's odds, so it's a curve. Odds pointing up. Evens pointing down. Evens pointing down. So he's building down there, aiming towards my railway. So now Gulliver's going to buy shares. He has. Uh, 60 pounds and shares in either company are only 55 so odds he buys his evens he buys mine it's odds he's going to buy his own which costs him 55 he takes the next available train card which is that three And then we run the trains again. I'll get used to this routine and I'll be able to stop referring to the instructions. So I'm running first. I have two two trains and a three train. I think it's better to run the two there and the two there or the three there, it doesn't really matter which. So I can pick up this station twice. So that's six, nine, 10, 13, 14 pounds per share or $140 if I choose to retain it in the company. But I'm gonna pay it out, 14 times five is 70. Seventy for me. Let's just color that up. Take a hundred. Keep it neat. And he's got two twos and a three, but he only has one stop. So he's just going to run for seventy. Now he gets forty-two pounds for that because he has six shares, and I have one. So I get seven pounds. Tidy that up in a bit. Both companies go up in share price onto round three. Take back my actions. Now, the minimum to launch a second company is 200 
and 25 because that's 5 times 45 and I'm currently not quite there at the end of this round before we run the trains the two trains are going to be obsolete because he's going to take that four train Might be nice to jump ahead and buy a four train. But I think I'd like to try and buy a second company and get them to buy the trains. So first of all, This time I'm going to put 20 into the company with my uh, with uh, Balmoth special power there. And what shall I do first? I think build upgrade and then possibly station. If we build there. And then upgrade this. And then place a station there. That's going to cost me 40. Uh, it's going to cost the company 40, actually. So now, Gulliver's back to track building. So we need to upgrade green to a brown, which we can't do yet. Upgrade a yellow city tile to a green. So I presume. If Gulliver has several city choices, um, only tiles with a station token of Gulliver's companies are upgraded. Now, why built that so he didn't put a station on it? So he's not going to upgrade. He's going to build a yellow city out here. Um, so odds it's a curve, evens it's a straight, evens it's a straight, you have to watch he doesn't go off the top, he's going to lay a plane, first he's going to put a station marker in there, now he's going to place another plane, so odds a curve, evens straight, it's a curve, odds left, evens right, Um, he cannot afford, uh, not a, cannot afford to buy a share, so he takes the next train now. He takes the four. How does this work? Right, simply rusted. Train limit is now three so that is rusted that is obsolete my two trains are obsolete as well which means they run for half their revenue Now the train card with the lowest number is eliminated, but it's it's rusted. Let's actually move that out of the game. Okay. So now we're going to run our trains. I have a three and two twos. So I think a two there, a two there, and the three going one, two, three, because then I use that one twice. 
the two twos are halved. So the twos are worth seven and six is 13. We'll half it, call it six. And then 10, 12, 13, 16, 17. Now, if I retain that, it enables me to buy that four train in the next round. If I pay out, it's 17 times 5, 85, which will give me 200 and some. I think we're going to pay out, so let's put 75 in. So if we take that 25, put there, take 100, share price goes up, and then Gulliver is going to run. We need to give him the best routes we can. Four. One, two, three, four. So there's his four and his two going there. So the two gets six, halved is three. Oh, he's got... No, he doesn't need to half the three. He's not even going to run the two train. So six, 10, 12, 13, 16, 17, 20. I get 20 before my 10% share, uh, it's off the screen, it's, there we are, 10% share, and he gets um, 120, and then his share price goes up also, and we're on to round four. So nearly this is going to be the halfway point. So I have 228, which is not enough to launch that new company. It is enough to launch the new company, isn't it? 225. So my thinking is if I buy uh, a new, if I start the new company as cheap as I can, it's going to get £450 into it, which is going to be enough to buy that three uh, the four train or a five train. Uh, I can't remember, do, when do the four trains go obsolete when the four diesels are bought but never rust? So the four train, the five train... The five train is permanent, the four train is kind of permanent, but will be op could be obsolete. I can't buy the five train until the four train has gone. Oh, there's, there's only one left. So let's um, let's buy some shares. I can sell. Of course, I can sell this for sixty-five, which will also force his share price down. I'm just going to. Uh, I've got a cal calculator I've borrowed here, so I've got. Let's call it two twenty-five plus sixty-five. 
290 divided by 5 is 58 so that then would launch at 55 which is better so right we're going to sell this share this Lamex and railway the share price goes down which is good for me then we are going to buy a president's share in let's go with Tramexan because I like the purple just decide where I'm going to put this stuff I'll move mine up here so I'm going to buy the 50% share in the Tramexan railway I sold that for 65 so let's move that in 65 ignore those for now So I have 290, which as we said was going to be 55. So two hundred and seventy-five paying two hundred and eighty-five ten pound change, um, which means Tramex and Railway gets keep my stuff separate here 400 uh, 550 pounds let's get these purple counters out of here So oh, 550 pounds for Tramex and Railway. Now, when a new company is launched, it can place a token anywhere it likes. Now, this is pretty disruptive, but it also disrupts me, sort of. But I kind of like that. This one, of course, goes over there on the 55. Now, for my second action. I could buy two trains. So let's think if the newly incorporated Tramex and Railway buys this three train for five hundred and ten pounds, then that would leave Glimmergrim with seven hundred, which is enough to buy. Still can't get that five train. You can buy it next round. Or the Tramex and Railway can buy the four train for three hundred pounds. I kind of like this idea though. It'll probably bite me, but and then so uh, three hundred pounds. We're going to buy that one. So that's my two actions. 
Now over to Gulliver, track building. He's going to upgrade this one to green. New rail must point to Mildendo, so it will point that way. It's vaguely pointing towards Mildendo. He won't lay a station marker because he cannot. And he will build additional plane track out here. So odds for curves, evens for straight, uh, odds for up, evens for down. So a curved straight pointing up. Shares, he has enough money to buy a share. So um, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to buy a share in the newly incorporated Tremexum Railway at 55. He will buy two more shares. His final share will be a 5% in the final company, 50% uh, in the final company. He gets this train, uh, which means the train limit is two, which means these two are removed from the game, as I understand it. If due to a phase change, one or both of Gulliver's companies have too many trains, the next train card with the lowest number is eliminated out of the game. So um, this has to go into there. Now we're going to run our trains. Of course, ground track will now be available in the next round. Uh, two trains rust, actually. They're not obsolete. They're completely rusted. Of course, that's what I meant to do. I don't think I took my money, but too late for that now. Okay, so let's run in share order. Green first, he's got a four trains. So this is going to be nice and easy this round. This has got to be the most profitable, I should imagine. One, two, three, four. So three, six, seven, ten, eleven, thirteen. Thirteen times five, we will pay out is sixty five. To me, that's four. Glim Grim. Next up, uh, going up. Next up is uh, Slamexon, and he has a four and a five train. He's blocked here. Two, three, and that way possibly. I think. So two, six, nine, thirteen. 16, 16 times 6, uh, I should be able to do that in my head, 96 of course, he hasn't got enough to make change which is annoying, so 80, 90, Six change that about five hundred there. There we go. I have none of that. So he goes up. And now the Tramexan railway has a three train. Or one, so one, two, three, that way picking up both these tens, or one, two, 
three, picking up both the tens. Forty, sixty, seventy, one hundred and ten or eleven, which is going to pay out. So I get fifty five of that. And he gets eleven, Gulliver. So this is coming to me, that's a hundred. And that's the end of the round. Oh, share price goes up, round marker goes up. We're on to round five, we're over halfway now. Take my action markers back. Now I must remember, do I want to take five pounds? Do I want to give one of my companies 20? I think I will take the five at this point. I'm not really sure. It's sort of at this point in the game, I'm not sure it's even relevant. So now, I want to get that five train. I want to get a permanent train. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I can upgrade that. Right. Let's go for these trains first off. Definitely, definitely, Glimmer Grim is going to buy this five train, which means that my three train will be obsolete. So I think for the second train purchase, I think Tremexon is going to buy that four train from Glimmer Grim. Just to keep its income up. My second action, now I can either upgrade this so Glimmer Grim can run through it. Now, does that mean he's going to token it? No, he lays a station marker in each yellow city he's just built. So he won't token that. I think we're going to go there then and upgrade this. Either going to put it that way or that way. Doesn't really make much difference. I don't think we're going to build much off it, but who knows. So that's purely so that Glimmer Grin can run through with its five train. Because it does mean that Slimex can run through, but we can token that possibly with Glimmer Grim next round. We have Glimmer Grim has a hundred there, so we can put our final token in there. Okay, Gulliver's going track building. His priority is to upgrade a green city to a brown, and I think it will go for this one. No need. 
need to roll to see where it goes because it's symmetrical. He has no open. We run it. I think we may have cheated a little bit on Gulliver's part there, but never mind. He didn't just build a yellow track segment, so he will not put his last station marker in there. Buy shares. He has enough to buy a share. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six again. One, two, three. He's going to buy another 10% in his own for 65. And he takes this train, which means that one is removed from the game. At this point, three trains are obsolete. The train limit is two, with two trains anyway. Okay, time to run those trains, see what we're going to end up with here. Glimmer Grimm's going to run first with its five train. Um, is it better to go from Mildendo or just cut that out now? One, two, three, four, five. It's the same. One, two, three, four, five. It just means we don't reach there. So, three, six, seven, ten, eleven, fourteen. Uh, 19. 19 pounds per share or 190 to the company. 190 to the company. I just want to keep that share price going up and stick with the train we've got. I think we've got a permanent five train in there. So uh, we're going to pay out 19 times five is 95. Yep, yeah, that's right. Share price up and Slamexon. It's got a five and a three diesel. The diesels mean they run for double the income. Whatever they generate, they double. So he wants to run one, two, one, two, three, I should think. And he's five train, or perhaps the three will go one, two, three, and the five goes one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. I think, I think he can do that. It's not the same train running into Mildendo twice, so that's fine. So the three diesel, three, eight, eleven, double, twenty-two. 27, 30, 31, 34, 35, 38, 41, which he's going to pay out. 41 times 7, which I cannot do in my head at the moment. 287, that was easy. I should have been able to do that one. 187, so let's put 13 back and take 300. Share price up, and finally, Tremexon Railway, it's got a four and an obsolete three. So we're gonna run the four through, uh, through this Y tile, I think, one, two, three, four, and the three round there. So the three round there goes three, six, seven, ten, half is five. And the four is going to go one, two, three, four, so five, eight, nine, twelve, seventeen, twenty. 
20 in all. 20 times 5, I'll get 100 for that. And he gets a 20 for his single share, which goes in his own money. And on to the uh, share price goes up, round marker, on to round six. So we have three rounds left to go. If I don't buy a train, then the four trains won't become obsolete. I don't think I can afford to buy a train anyway. That seems optimistic. But what we can do, this company has 100, so it can lay its final token there, which will block Slamexan Railway from coming around here and getting quite so much next go. So that's a priority. We definitely want to lay a station tile. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Do we want to build some rails? I could afford some more shares or a new share. Now the other option would be to leave that open and buy a share in Slamexan Railway, but I think this is probably better this way. So we can either buy a share in Glimmergrim. I don't think there's any point building rail, we're not getting anywhere extra. So let's buy another share in Glimmergrim for 80. Ideally, I'd like to end up with five shares by the end of the game, but um, five share certificates, the limit. We'll see how that goes. Gulliver's go, track building. Uh, upgrade a green city to a brown city tile. So he will upgrade this. He now has an open connector here, so odds for curve, evens for straight. It's a straight. Laying a station marker, no. Share buying. He now has enough to buy a 50% share in another company. He has 460. Four six zero oh, divided by five, so he can he can launch at ninety or par at ninety, which of course will be four hundred and fifty. So four hundred and fifty. He's going to launch the Plips Railway, powering it at 90. This is off screen, I shall fix that in a minute. This company gets 900. That's his last share that he will buy this game. Where does he place this new place it in the home token 
but it's the home token of Gulliver's new company on the home track tile of his first company if there's a space available. No. If not, place it in the nearest city tile. That's got to be there. And he automatically gets this three diesel into there. Let's move this up a little bit. There we go. My shares are off the screen as well. I don't think we're going to be building too much more rail down here, so let's move this all up. Do I have my second action? Didn't have a second action, did I? Or did I buy a share? I bought a share. I did, I bought a share. Okay. So now we're going to run these trains. We'll start off with Plips and their three diesel. He cannot run through here, so he's got nine, 180, $18 per share, 18 times five is 90. That was easy. And it goes up. Next up is Glimmergrim with their five. One, two, three, four, five. I think now is the best route. So three, four, seven, eight, eleven, sixteen. Can't get through sixteen, you can get through there, twenty. Which we're gonna pay out. So that's 120 for me. Nothing for Gulliver. Next up is Slamexon Railway, who has a five train of three diesel. So we want to run out of here twice if possible. I'll be cutting them off here. So a two and that three. So he wants to run the three diesel there for what? Nine, 12, double, 24, and the five here for 29, 32. Isn't doing quite as much damage as we hoped. So. He's getting 32. So that's 224. And finally, the Tramexon Railway with their four and their obsolete three. Both running out of here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. We're on the one, two, three, four. Oh, we can't do that. So if we run. Doesn't make that that way we can cover everything. So the one, two, three there, and the one, two, three, four there. So the three is halved. So I think it's best to run the four here. Nine, twelve, and the three, four, two, three, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, halved is five. So seventeen. Five, eight, thirteen, seventeen. 
17 times 5 is 85. And 17 for Gallera. Now back to me. Definitely want to buy a share. And I think I want to buy a share in the Slamex and Railway, that last available share, 85. Although, yeah, because the, the black one here isn't, isn't enough to jump up into these 15s. At the end of these rows, the share price jumps by 15, but we're not going to get there. So, I'm definitely, I'm going to buy Slamexon for 85. Let's actually take the share certificate. And... Second action. Now, at the end of this go, the four train is going to become obsolete and the three train is going to rust. So Tromexon is going to have nothing really to run. It's going to be running one obsolete four train, so there's not a lot of point building track for Tramex and Railway to run on. One, two, three, four. It's going to hit as much as it can. We could upgrade though. And if we upgrade this one. because it keeps him out of it. Okay, track lane for Gulliver. Uh, he cannot upgrade a green to a brown. He cannot upgrade a yellow to a green. So he's going to build a yellow city tile. Chooses the one nearest to Mildendo. I presume he's not going to build it out here because that would be stupid. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. He can't build out there. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to build out there. Odds for a curve, evens for a straight. Uh, odds for up, evens for down. No, 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 it's a city tile. Which he immediately places a... a station in. Gulliver the Second Company doesn't place any other city, any station, so it's definitely that one. And then he's going to place either a straight or a curve on the top of that. Odds for a curve, evens for a straight. Not quite running off the top of the screen, so that's okay. Share buying. He will not buy any more shares because he is maxed out with five share certificates. Train buying. He takes this. And he puts it into the Plips Railway. So 
So the four trains are now obsolete and the three trains rust. All his stuff is permanent and not obsoleted. My five train in Glimmer Grim is good. And then we run them. So first off it's Plips with their four diesel and their three diesel. Still a bit hemmed in. One, two, three. Um, if he runs that way and that way, he can count this one for double. So we'll just add it all up and then double it twice. So six, 10, 15 doubled is 30. So 150 for Gulliver for that. And that was clips, so I get nothing for that. Next is Glimmergrim, who just has the five and can run up as far as there. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and I think that's the best route. So that's nine, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one. 21 times 6, 126. We can tidy this up a bit. So there's 60, 80, there's 100. That's 500. Go. What did we just run? Glimmer Grin. He has none, so that's fine. Slamexon. Let's remember my single share here. Slamexon's got a five and a three diesel. One, two, three. So if he's three, uh, that's 60, 110, or 80, 110, either way. So I think it's 110 either way. So the three diesel gets 110 doubled is 220, and the four, the five train gets another 110, which is 330. So I'll get 33. And he gets 33 times 7. And finally, the Tremexan Railway with its defunct four train. Definitely wants that 50. So five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, 13, 14, 17, half is going to be 85. Nope, it's going to be. Eight and a half per eight per share. So that's forty for me. And eight over here for Caliber. So
And the final round where all income is doubled. I kept a note of what they earned. I think Slamexon was the biggest earner. There's no shares left, so I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy 10% in Plips Railway for 110. So 390 coming back. Actually, I put in the 10. It's going to be 400 coming back. That's fine. Final share. Now I've got five share certificates. And I think the other thing worth doing is going to be to upgrade this. I'm just wondering what the point of putting this money in here is if he just gets the trains for free. Don't know. Anyway, track building. He's going to upgrade this one to a green. And the new route's going to point to Mildenlo, which is more or less that way. We need a plane to come out here. So odds for a curve, evens for a straight. Odds to point left, evens to point right. Barely matters at this junction. He's not going to lay a station marker. He's not going to buy any, uh, play any shares. He's going to get this train. Another four diesel, um, which ruins that one. Now we're going to run our trains. So flips first. Everything's doubled. Three. The two and the two again, I guess. So nineteen seventy one sixty doubled three twenty. So I get thirty two. And he gets um, 32 times 5 is 160. Final share price there for 120. Clips. Next up is Glimmergrim with its five train. One, two, three, four, five. So four, nine, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-two. Paying out, so 22 times 6 is 132 for me. Slamexon now has a 4 diesel and a 3 diesel. 
one, two, three, four, and that little one with the three. And he counts that one twice, which is going to be best for him. So three, seven, twelve, fifteen, twenty-three, doubled forty-six. So I get forty-six from that. And he gets 46 times 7, which is 322. And finally, Tremexan Railway running with its pretty rubbish four train. One, two, three, four which is going to be halved, so 5, 8, 9, 13, 14, 17, again, 17 up, halved is 8, so I get 40 for that, and Gulliver's going to get 8, so let's give him a 10 and take back 2, and that is that that's the end of the game so now at the end of the game our final scores is our personal wealth plus the values of our shares so let's just color this up a bit to make it neater easier to count easier to see So I've got 717 in cash and Gulliver has got 1,221 in cash. So let's work out the value of our shares. I'll start, I'll do mine. So I have six times 110, so that's 660 plus five at 95, which is, mm, Looks right. Um, one at one hundred and five, and one at one hundred and twenty. So one three six zero oh, plus my seven hundred and seventeen. I have two o oh, seven seven. 2077. I should have pen and paper to write that down. Two oh seven seven. And Gulliver has got fifty five five at hundred and twenty, which is 600 of course, 7 at 105, 1,230 plus 1,221. So he's got 2651. Versus my 2077. I don't think that's too bad. Um, I think obviously I suffered on trains there. I have to decide whether it's better to retain sums of money in the company and the share price suffer 
in order to get better trains in. Something to try in the next game anyway. I think that's about, I, I don't see how my rail building could be any better because I was hitting lots of stations. It's all about those trains, getting that permanent train that's not going to go obsolete, I think is the important thing there. It was only 600, I was under 600 off. If my share price had been a couple lower, I would have suffered only only a hundred, hundred and twenty loss on the Glimmergrim shares in order to to gain the money that I would have done through running the the rails better. Same with Tromexon. If I'd left uh, only a hundred worse off in order to run better. I think next time definitely try and retain some money in the company in order to get better trains. Okay, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed 18 Lilliput. Uh, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll get some more solo playthroughs up soon. Maybe revisit this one. Got lots of other games to play. Um, some old, some newer. Um, thanks for watching.